because he loves Trail of Terror. Yes, he does. Don't you buzz. Trail of Terror. Yeah. Tell him. Hey guys, got a totally vlog worthy Craigslist free haul today. Awesome. Let me break it down and unload it and I'll show you what we got. Alright guys, so this is what we got. Uh, this is actually an old fish tank stand that I probably just scrapped. Got some screening right here. Some window screening. Bucket full of wood, bucket full of all kind of mixed matched nuts and bolts, this crappy little chair. Also got this wheelbarrow, and big score, these two shelves that'll be perfect for the witch's den ingredient jars. Also got this little shelf, this tote with four bags of quick read. this little shelf. And my personal favorite, this box full of spray paints, paints, wood stains, all kind of good stuff. Great haunting materials. So, that's our take for the day, guys. Check your local Craigslist for free stuff. Okay guys, so here's a more comprehensive look at all the goodies that were in the box. So we got some wood sheen, some rust buster, various spray paints, granite stone finish, brass protector coat, primer, rust-oleum, lots of stains and it feels like they're all dried up unfortunately. Gold metallic, some standard black. Grout, some more rust -oleum, concrete crack filler, stone touch clear coat, blue spray paint, and this classic leather. Not sure if it's all in there or how much is in there or what that is, but I'll be excited to try that out. So, here's all the freebies in the box. Also, I forgot to mention we picked up these white sheets plain white sheets. Uh, they'll be great to bloody up and ruin for the crime scene bedroom. And one other thing I forgot to mention. It's not the OSB press board, but I got this piece of wood. And guess what? It's going to find its new home right there today. So that this can all get caulked, painted, sealed, broken down, and taken to storage. And of course I have all this junk wood that I don't know what I'll do you with yet, but it was free. So guys, here's the new stain we did on the electric chair. It's a little darker than what I would have liked if I had the choice to pick. But the stain was free. Ended up having to mix a couple to actually get enough to finish it. And even then, there's still some parts here in the back that didn't really get coverage like I would have liked, but primarily you won't be seeing it anyway, so I'm going to throw the jigsaw back on it, get the strobe back on it, and uh, take it back to storage next time I go, because the only reason we pulled it was to stain it. But, so here you go free stain. It's mainly a mix of mahogany with some oak and I think the other color was pecan that we ended up mixing in. So there you go. And here's a picture of what it looked like prior to staining. So 
So, if you're not getting a big response on the basically made on the computer, various different images thrown together type of flyers that I posted a blog about a while back, I decided, you know what, I'll just draw this year's too. So here it is. All hand drawn. <clears throat> I kind of like it just being the black sharpie pen and having the just the blood being red that's my opinion but we will toy with coloring in some of the rest of this see what that comes out looking like but as far as I'm concerned this is what we're going with so let me know in the comment section guys what do you think Check it out guys, Headhunter Barbershop stand is done. <clears throat> Already taken the rails off, mounted them over there. All three walls are done. The only thing that isn't done <clears throat> is the sign, which I haven't decided on the layout for that.